Now today, it's all about trying to get a good photograph of Mount Ropehu, which is a, a volcano in the central plateau of New Zealand. Odd bits of sunlight coming in and out, uh, but it's going to be quite moody, I reckon. So uh, it's going to be black and white. Obviously, <laughs> I'm going to shoot infrared because, you know, I'm obsessed, all that sort of thing. But we're just heading up the mountain road now. Being at such an elevation, there's always a bit of snow on top. Now, I don't think you can make it out yet, but I just keep getting a glimpse of the mountain. It looks to be quite concealed by cloud at the moment. But as the day progresses, fingers crossed, we might get a few clear breaks and be able to make a couple of photographs. I think we're going to get a few glimpses of the mountain soon. And you see it popping over the top there. Yesterday it was pretty clear, no real drama in the sky. Today, obviously, we've got a lot of overcast conditions. Hopefully, that's going to make some dramatic skies. It's about 11 a.m. Not the ideal light to shoot in. Because of the clouds and the dappled light, I think we're going to make some nice photographs anyway. Like I say, we'll dig out the X-Pro 2. Oh, round this corner, round this corner. Come on, open sky, open sky, open views. No, come on. Round this corner, maybe. Round this corner. Let's see that mountain. Where are you, mountain? Oh, no. Still not there. Bloody hell. I wonder if it's clagged in and we can't see a damn thing. I could see it from down in the village. But, uh, so far... Oh, here we go, here we go. Look at... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, come on. Come on. Just pull up a minute. How cool is that? Oh, yes. Right, come on. Push on a bit further. Get out of this bush line altogether. Oh, that looks stellar. That looks so good. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that! Mount Ropehu. Absolutely majestic. Look at the peak stood out against the sky. That is so nice. There's more snow on there than I would have expected. We had a southerly blast come up last week and it did drop quite a bit of snow on the top, so uh, presumably that is a remnant of last week's storm. Either way, it looks good. This is what is called the Turoa side of the mountain. I've been to the other side of the mountain numerous times and the other side is called Fakapapa. This is my first ever visit to this side of the mountains and uh, oh, won't be the last, that's for sure. Absolutely stunning, look at this. Just look at that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Come on, Rosie, you can do it, girl. Good girl, good girl. Now it looks like over the right hand side of the mountain we've got some, we've got a big block of lenticular cloud. Uh, but unfortunately it's not that well defined. Uh, you can just see the sort of circular ridge of it. Ah, come on, get into the night gear, Paul. I'm not sure that it's going to stand out too well. It looks like a real big block. Let's just get around here and have a look. Got to love volcanoes. We're pretty lucky in New Zealand, or in my part of New Zealand anyway. We've got what's called the Central Plateau, and that, that contains three, maybe four volcanoes, uh, three of them active. You've got uh, this one, which is Mount Ruapehu, you've got Mount Tongariro, and then you've got the, uh, the, the cone shaped classic of Mount Narahui. Oh, look at that lenticular cloud as well. That is looking pretty cool. I may, uh, may try and find a place to pull up. <laughs> that looks pretty funky. Look at that. Oh, this look, look at this here. It's built for me. A little parking space. Oh, thank you. Thank you, look at that. Oh, how ah, cool. All right. Let's get some photography done. Look at that cloud. I know it's a mountain environment, obviously, uh, but shit, man, it's pretty cold up here. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna get the, uh, the X-Pro 2, 850 nanometer, Infrared, I know you know what it's all about. I, I just love this camera, I love this sensor nowadays. 14 millimeter f2.8 lens, which equates to about 21 millimeters on full frame sensor. So plenty wide enough for this. Underexposing by one stop because I want to protect as much of the highlights as I can. It looks like a flying saucer coming off the corner of the mountain there. ISO 200, f8, 300th of a second, which is ample. And I'm just loving this, I'm just loving it. 
Now, a couple of minutes ago, I did get a, uh, I got a truck coming down the road again, so I've got a snap of that, because I'm shooting into the sun, you know, what bit of sun there is, and I'm getting just a little bit of flare, so I'm trying to shield that with my hand, and it's working, it's working quite nicely, actually. We've got a little bit of milky sunlight in there, the lenticular cloud. Where is that hot spot? There it is. There it is, there it is, I've got it. So I might just have to crop my hand out of it, because I've just got the top corner of my fingers in there. But man, it looks cool, it looks so cool. Once this car's gone, I'm gonna get in the middle of the road and get the road running up. Be a bit hairier in the ice and the snow, but today we're good. I don't know how far we can get up here. I've got no idea. What's that say? Around the mountain track. We're not going around the mountain track. Just going to keep on on the main road. See what it takes. Look at that lenticular cloud. I love a volcanic environment. It doesn't get much more volcanic than this. And these are active volcanoes. Ropeo is well overdue for an eruption, I believe. Oh, there's a place there, Paul. Why ain't you going there for? Shit, I should have gone in there. All right. Ah, Dylan. I can turn around further up here. Go back into there. Looks like a work site. Oh, and again, I could have gone in there again. Ah, there's two good spots I've missed there. But no worries. We'll just push on. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that, man. Here, yeah, yeah, look, 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 look. A little bit of flat land here, so This is Turo Ski Village. I'm not going skiing. I bet there's a cafe up here, though. I can get a nice coffee. Now, I've got some pretty cool mist rolling in and out. The occasional bit of light on the mountain. All I'm doing is picking some of this, uh, some of these volcanic rocks, some of this grass, and it, it just stands out really nicely. Infrared, obviously, again. I'm loving how this is coming out. So many, so many potential shots to make here. It's hard to pick a winner, actually. Hard to pick a spot. And I'm just going to crawl around these rocks a little bit. Just pick a couple of a couple of shots. This looks quite nice actually. Got a big foreground rock here on the left hand side. A mountain in the background obviously. Got some of these beautiful alpine plants around the foreground of the shot. And it looks pretty cool. We've got a big bank of mist there that's kind of obscuring most of the mountain. So I'm just going to wait until that gets out of the way. Or even the, the far peak there. Just you can see it popping out there, do you see it? Let's see if I get it. I think I got it, I think I got it just in time. Let's have a look. Yeah, I did. All right. So we're just gonna wait until that does that again. Just pops out the, oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, beautiful. That is ISO 200, F8, and a 56 of a second, which is, uh, that's okay. So I'm just gonna change the lens over from the 14 millimeter, 21 millimeter equivalent. I'm going to change it over to the 23mm, 35mm equivalent just because I want to draw the mountains in a little bit more and uh, let's just see how that works that, that is actually, that lens is a little bit dirty that lens is now pretty cool okay, let's go out and get some shots got a nice line of alpine plants in the foreground leading up to the mountain because it's a longer focal length the mountains are more drawn in towards you and it, uh, they stand out quite a bit more and it looks pretty it looks pretty spectacular actually got some nice light coming in and out now oh that does look so good i'm still under exposing by one stop because i can easily bring the shadows back but i want to protect the highlights you blow your highlights they stay blown your shadows you can recover them quite easily yeah look at this mist coming through here man that's going through quite a lick is that we'll try and get that band of cloud between the two peaks 
Now I'm just going to wait until that right hand peak is exposed and as soon as that exposes itself we'll take a shot. Here she comes, looking good, looking better than good. We've still got that lenticular cloud on the right hand side as well and this is just one of them days where you can sort of uh, sit here all day if you like and just pop off shots as you're going along. I'm a big black and white fan anyway but the thing with the infrared, it, it just, it's black and white on steroids. It's just incredible. The blacks are so black, the whites are so white. The definition in the photographs, the clarity. Oh, <laughs> what, a, what an absolutely fantastic camera. To be fair, the Expo 2 has always been a good camera. But now with the IR sensor, oh, 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 different ball game. Right, heading back to the van. I've made myself a coffee. Should be cool enough to drink now. We're a couple of hours later. And unfortunately, the mountain is socked in. Uh, can't see the peaks at all. I did say the weather was going to close in. So I think my plan now, there's a good little hike through the bush down to a waterfall. Head down there, do a bit of a walk, see if there's any photographs to be made. That should take me a couple of hours and then we'll, uh, we'll reassess later on. See if that mountain's going to pop out and play for us. And if it's not, then I'm going to drive down around the other side of the mountain. Get myself to a campsite get plugged into mains power do a little bit of editing get a feed go for a walk and hopefully we might get a clear break later on this evening but uh, I mean it still looks gorgeous I mean look at that cloud over there it still looks amazing but just we just can't see the tops so uh, that'll do for now that'll do for now let's head back to the van and get moving <laughs> 